this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. <laughs> anyway, how is she going today, guys? Well, this is a pre recorded video for you. Because if you're watching this, I'm either in or on my way to Red Deer, Alberta to see my sister out there. So I'm going to be gone for about a week, so I wanted to have some videos for you guys ready to go here so making this one ahead of time along with another one I'm not really sure in which order I'll put them up in but anyway I've got a couple videos that I'm making for you but so we are currently this is the same day we are hauling grain from that video so we are now uh, gonna move this tractor and baler to our next and last quarter of flax straw for the flax straw people and then from there <clears throat> we got three quarters for a friend of ours to bale a flax straw but it's just for himself so anyway there's Antonio there and let this tractor percolate for a little while right Tuan? No. no? Oh they're just gonna take off right now and test the harmonic balancer out well, you gotta do something that can't hurt, so. <laughs> anyway, so, we're gonna let it warm up and move it to the next field, and Tuan will probably make a bale or two there to get it so it's not right beside the road. So when we get there, I'll video that for you. And I'll even tell you why they want flax straw, what it's for, and all that kind of fun stuff. Right, Tuan? Yep. Right, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, Antoine Googled what flax straw does and he said he'd read it out nice no, and loud. No, I didn't. All the different things it does, so. What am I, what am I getting okay, out read it. A, a hearty handshake oh. and the friendship of thousands. Okay, read it out. Hold. Uh, can I get a hold? Yeah, hold it so they can hear you talk. That'll just break the internet now. Uh, well, you can see it right there. Read it nice and loud for everyone. Some people no. are blind. <laughs> Watch it you do it. Well, they're listening to it. They like the sounds of the John Deere's. Oh, oh yeah. I see. Read it out there, Tuan. Uh, geotextiles, insulation, absorbency products like your tampons there. Pass wipe. <laughs> Filtration. <clears throat> and uh, plastic composites. Oh, and, and low end, low -end linen. textiles. Linens. Yeah, low end textiles. So your linen sheets. Uh, composite deck material, so your fake plastic wood deck. Quite a few things they use it for, so. And they like these nice, big, pretty looking six foot bales packed as hard as you can pack them. And you gotta use that real shitty sizal twine because it's nice and made of organic material. I guess you can't really see the bale here, but. Anyway, whatever, you get the idea, so. <laughs> There, internet's broken. Antoine talked to you, he even held the video camera, so. <laughs> yeah, got two birds stoned at once, so. <laughs> Everyone say thank you to Antoine in the comments, it'll make them feel appreciated. <laughs> well, it's the next day from that part of the video, so November 2nd. And uh, I had to bring Antoine some fuel, top him off again. He's getting quite a ways away from home. So before he did, was actually going through town a couple times there as he was moving from uh, field to field. So he was just fueling up at the fuel station. But I had to run him fuel this time. So he's been bailing. Uh, it's what time? 3.30, I guess. He started... Uh, 
Oh, 9.30, 10 o'clock or something this morning he got going. There was a bit of fog, so he didn't get going right away, but it's a really heavy crop in here. We were averaging 60, 70 bales a quarter before, and uh, I don't even know if he'd be quite half done here yet. I don't think so. Not really. Probably a third done, and he's already at 54 bales, so this is a real good quarter this one this one's actually gonna make us a few bucks finally so we get about $15 a bale well after you figure it all out there with expense and etc so not too bad really but uh, it's such a heavy swath he isn't able to go as fast because the pickup uh, can't handle it <laughs> it uh, tries to plug the pickup so To show you how uh, how not long it takes to make a bale <laughs> and when he when I started the video he was just pulling back into the swath he just made a bale when I got here so he's gonna have one here right shortly again I'm thinking it doesn't take very long so yeah there we go what the flax straw and what have you looks like. Since we told you what it's used for, I'll show you what it looks like anyway. So these are six foot bales and they're 1100, 1200 pounds in the ballpark. You gotta pack them as hard as a baler can go. They don't want uh, softer bales, and they want them as heavy as you can make them. Just so it's cheaper for them to truck, and then there's not as many bales, but... So I tried to show you a bale last night, but... It was too dark, but you can see this sizal twine on here is what they want you using, since it's a organic material twine, or whatever you want to call it. That way, uh, they don't need to cut the twines off the bales before they process the flax that way at their facilities. So, but uh, you can see it's real fibrous, the flax straw. It's kind of those fibers are soft, it's real stocky, but that's what they want is that fiber. That's what they extract to make their the linens and the ass wipe and all that kind of fun. So, <laughs> but. I'll get a few more shots of them baling, as this will be probably the last time we see the baler running this year. So, we'll talk to you again here in a few. bits and pieces of sloth all over the place here. The wind kind of flip flopped it around, so. Bale witty bales, and then usually when he's done, he kind of does a quick zoom around and picks up some of the leftover pieces just to do a cleaner job that way. But. Get one more shot of the old girl here, and that'll probably be it.
bit of bailing to do here yet, but figured I'd do one on the flax straw since we talk about it all the time and I've never really showed what it is we do or anything about it, what's it for, etc. etc. So we go around and bale it like this and then uh, you have to line up or stock them yourselves. It's kind of stupid how they do things really. But uh, whatever, you, uh, you go around and bale it all like this and then they want them all stacked by the road, not all over the field. Really it should be up to them to worry about getting them all lined up by roads, etc. But whatever, besides the point. So there's uh, usually a custom guy with a bale picker mounted on a semi truck. So we just hire him. He's, doesn't charge very much usually and uh, just hire him to pick and stack all of these bales for us that we make all over the countryside otherwise you got to go around and do it yourself so we'd have to use the towing truck in the 4020 and that wouldn't be much fun when it's cold out so never the mind that we don't really have time to go around and do that either so but uh, it still pays quite well really to run around and bale it like this the uh, good little Little bit of a cash injection in the fall there. A little extra money is kind of nice all the time, so. Tuan usually runs it and I uh, worry about other things like harrowing and all that other kind of stuff in the fall on our own stuff and then getting things ready for hauling grain and what have you, but. This year is kind of a weird drug out one with some snow in between and nothing's really at the time it should be at, but <laughs> whatever. So, I'm gonna go home again here now, actually to Grandpa's and get some trucks loaded up with canola and combines put away for the winter. And uh, Antoine's gonna keep bailing. We've got this one to do and then we actually have some for a friend of ours, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to do his or not. Because we have a bunch of grain we gotta haul to the elevator and the hauling the grain is more important than the bailing, so. We'll see what happens there. He might end up just... He might have to get someone else to do it. We'll see how it fucking pans out, I guess. But it'll be what it will be anyways. So, sorry about that. I'm aiming at this guy. Watching where I'm driving so I don't run over a lump of flax straw and wrap around my drive shaft. So, <laughs> anyway, we'll watch him make one more bale here and that'll be that. So, I should add, these are like 40 or... 40 or 45 feet the straight cut headers on the combines that done this so that's uh, another reason the swads are nice and heavy but we uh, we know there's a lot more here than other fields we've been to simply because he's hardly done anything and we've already made almost the amount of bales he had made on full quarters before so I mean you can look there's a swath there and then there's another swath so there's the divide in the middle it's kind of hard to tell on a camera without reference but they're for sure 40 feet maybe 45 so but I guess as we watch him tie I'll say thank you for watching Make sure you hit that like button, that's very important. Leave a comment down below. If you dislike the video, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Other than that, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll talk to all you guys in the next one.